Hey, what's up guys, ChuckaQ here, and due to popular demand, I've been asked to make a Revlo tutorial, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that today, and you're going to need, the only way I know how to do it is with OBS, so make sure you have that. You're also going to need the plugin that has CLR browser. Most of the modern OBSs you can download will come with it, but if not, you'll have to get a plugin and attach it and everything. So. First thing is you need to go to revlo.co, revlo.co, it's not .com, it's .co, then it will prompt you to log in with Twitch, which we can just do real quick. So you'll come here, log in, log in with Twitch. If you have two forms of authentication, you can just log into Twitch in general and then hop into here, otherwise you got to use the second form. So. What we have under here is rewards, and this is stuff you get to set up. You can set the price of your currency, and you can put an image with it, so when folks come to your Revlo page, they'll be able to see what you have and how much it costs. The Before we get into rewards, the big thing I'm going to go over is how to set up your currency. So you need to be on browser, you need to go to settings, and then you need to click on currency. In here, you can name your currency mine's rupees you can set how much it'll pay out per minute whether it be one per minute one for every 10 minutes 10 per minute it's up to you and anything you do in here you need to make sure you save so if you change anything you got to change it you can also change your bot command to see, to view your currency from points to whatever you want i'm leaving minus points because that's how long i've had it you can also add in a youtube and twitter bonus and what has to happen is any of your followers on Twitch have to have their Twitch linked with their YouTube and Twitter. And if they do, they'll get a monthly allowance, not a monthly, weekly allowance on Mondays of whatever you designate right here. And then, of course, you have the ability to reset everything in this menu. With mod access, you can set mods that you trust to basically access your rewards, your overlays, and your currency. Um, I only recommend doing this with somebody you really trust, but you have a mod option and a super mod option. Otherwise, your commands, it will show you this, this auto populates off of whatever you put into your rewards, as well as some of the default options that come with it. And then it tells you some of the other ones, because you can mute and unmute the bot, you can just immediately turn it off, and you can give bonuses to everybody in the chat or specific people. And under your bot settings, you can pick which one of these you want to use. I heavily recommend you pick this one. And then, you know, you can choose whether you want it to be muted or not. How, what commands it will actually respond to. I mean, all this is pretty much straightforward. You can have it announce your contests, etc. This is the big one though. If you have this on, make sure you update it for whatever reason. That way people are getting accurate information. And the big thing that a lot of people like is gambling. Some folks I know have set this to pretty much unlimited and I have it set at 200. You can also set how frequently you want to gamble. If you're still small, you, in my opinion, you should keep gambling to like a minute or zero. So people can gamble as freely as they'd like to. But as you get bigger and you grow in popularity, you're going to have more people and you don't want that spamming your chat too much. So five minutes might be like the standard at that point. And then hosting gives you the option of allowing Revlo to still stay in your chat while you're hosting another channel so folks can still earn currency. So that's all you need to know from the settings to get yourself right in here. And do remember, anything you change, you need to hit save on. Otherwise, you're going to have to do it again later. So then you'll hop into your rewards, and these rewards can be set however you like. You can add images, you can set the currency type. So let's say we made a new, a new reward, and you'll name it whatever you want. You can add your currency. If you have a picture, you can choose to add it, and on the right, it will show you whatever your current current ones are. If you want to add a command for it, you can do so right there. And if you have pre-generated overlays, 
you can attach them from here and then whenever somebody redeems a reward it'll show on your stream but there's also some advanced settings and in here you can set up requirements what they need to do you can put in a description of what the reward is and you can enable some of these other things only for subscribers it'll expire after a certain amount of time you have to say how many days you can make access codes make it a limited quantity and you can have a redemption message so when they redeem they'll see something but that's pretty much all you need to do at that point so in your rewards you pretty much have whatever you want here which is, which is good and should anybody redeem anything if the browser is open it will make a little ping sound but then it will show in here what's been done so if you do things where for example let's say you do like I do cheers and people can redeem cheer times 50 when they redeem that in here I have to manually go into nightbot and add in that 50 total but this way it'll keep track of hey this has been redeemed and you can check off if you've done it or not helps you keep track of stuff like that also if you have things where you know you're letting people pick your equipment or your character you can keep track of if you've done it or not yet leaderboards is pretty straightforward you can have the current total which will show who in your fan base is watching how many rupees they've accumulated so far and then there's the all time which is done purely on watching I'm pretty sure yep so this will show you how often people are watching your show who who watches you the most now overlays is the big one this is what's gonna let your rewards pop up on your screen so under mine I have really feeling it objection and objection because I have I have Phoenix and Edgeworth they do two different objection screens so what will happen is you pretty much just type in the name of your overlay and it'll give you your overlay link you attach it to whatever reward you want in here now if you want to apply to multiple rewards you can so if you want to make a generic one you could do that or if you have audio rewards you know you want to set it specifically only to that one the reason these two have different ones is because they have different voices and images this will give you an example of what it'll look like and you can pick the layout here and you know it'll change around and everything so pick whichever one you think is good for you if you didn't upload an image in the rewards panel you can add one here or you can just use the default one if you wanted you can also change out how it comes out so my reward title is really feeling it so when somebody redeems it it says username is really feeling it so you can customize this however you like you can also change in these the duration add a sound clip and how loud it's going to be and then when you're done you grab your overlay link switch back over to OBS you'll add a CLR browser and we're going to come grab a link real quick paste it right in here I like to make these pretty wide just so that my text goes across the screen and doesn't bunch up and then we'll save this and then you can test it. I'm really feeling it and there you go and now it'll pop up just like that and you can change how big you want and edit scene contest overlays are, or contest styles are pretty much the exact same thing you can set up how you want it to show up this is how I have some of mine looking and at the end it'll show it like this and you can change all the font options exactly the same thing you grab your link go into your overlay or OBS add a CLR browser etc it's pretty simple and I haven't done giveaways yet and it's not even ready yet so if you want to do giveaways it's probably better to still use Nightbot or some other type of bot now if you're doing contests all you have to do is go in here hit setup you'll pick a name whatever you want it to be and then you have to choose the options here on what they can pick so for whatever we were doing we could add these options if we wanted you can set how long the how long the contest will run so people have you know five seven two minutes to set it up you can it in the description whatever you want here and then of course at the overlay you'll hit start and then in here 
If you have the overlay set up and you have Revload deployed in your chat, it will post a message and telling people how that they how they can bet, and it'll be able to take care of it from here. And as people bet, it'll populate right here. So at the end, the timer will eventually run out. Whatever your contest is, you can just pick a winner, and then it will automatically distribute. And the way that contests work is, let's say you have five people pick six, and they all bet, they all bet a hundred, and five. We'll just say five everywhere. Everybody bet five hundred. So the pool is fifteen hundred. Now let's say six wins. Everybody gets their one hundred rupees back. Plus they split the pot of a thousand amongst five of them. So they each will get two hundred more of your currency. Now for some reason you messed up and people started betting. You can just refund and start new, and you can change everything. You can look at your old contests that you've done. So we had some of these. Will I do this result? I didn't do it, so the one person that won got their rupees back, plus the entire pot. So, that's pretty cool. And then giveaways, apparently they let you set them up. I haven't done this yet, but it's still under construction and overlays. So you can still use this as a way to do giveaways, you just won't be able to show it on your show. And that's pretty much it, that's all there is to using Revlo. You just need to log in here before you go live, launch Revlo, and then they'll go to your chat, and you just terminate them right away. That's pretty much it, and that's all you guys really know, need to know about Revlo. If you guys have any other questions or want to see something else, please let me know in the comments, tweet at me, message me. Uh, most of you watching this know how to get a hold of me. So I hope that helps a lot. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.